Hi everyone, it's Paul from this design that. Today we're gonna to build some DIY paper drying racks. Now I've seen this design being sold in various different printmaking shops and it looked like a pretty easy shape to cut out on my CNC. So I've managed to find some scrap wood. This is just from an old bed and I'm just cutting out the shapes here. Now for the brackets, usually steel wire is used to hold the marbles in place, but I didn't want to do that because it's very hard to, to bend it if you don't have any sort of wire bending tools. An easier option is to just 3D print it. So here you can see the modeled brackets, 3D printing a batch of them, only took a few hours. And they just hammer in place, you don't need to use glue or anything. Uh, they hold in really nice and tight, so they're not going to fall out. Once you've put the brackets on one side of the rack, you place in the marbles and then you hammer in the other side of the brackets just to keep the marbles from falling out. So all we've done is I've just 3D printed these brackets and I've just fixed it in with some nuts and bolts. Obviously my CNC can't cut all of this, the full entire length. So what I've done is I just cut it into three sections and I've just bolted them together so I've got a nice long one. And to hang it up, what I've done is I've just got a hook going up into the joist in my ceiling. It's important to make sure that you are putting it into the, the wooden joist, not just the plasterboard ceiling. The whole entire thing isn't actually that heavy but it's better to be safe just putting it into the wooden joist and then i've just got some steel wire and it's just attaching to the hook so as you can see now when i'm printing i can put all of my prints up on this rack i don't have them all laid out on the floor which is what i usually do and i end up kind of stamping on a few and ruining them this is a really nice and simple solution for paper drying and just to remove it all you need to do is just push up the marble and the paper will just slip out. I'm going to put the 3D files on Thingiverse if you're interested in printing it and cutting these out yourself. Even if you don't have a CNC, with just a coping saw, you can easily cut out the shape needed for these. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Remember to like and subscribe, but that is it for now. I'll catch you all later.